Welcome, and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 12th of August 2024. The Bible reading today is Mark chapter 9, verses 30 to 37. They left that place and passed through Galilee. Jesus did not want anyone to know where they were going, because he was teaching his disciples. He said to them, The Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men. They will kill him, and after three days he will rise. But they did not understand what he meant, and were afraid to ask him about it. They came to Capernaum. When he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the road? And they kept quiet, because on the way they had argued about who was the greatest. Sitting down, Jesus called the twelve and said, Anyone who wants to be the first must be the very last and the servant of all. He took a little child whom he placed amongst them. Taking the child in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me does not welcome me, but the one who sent me. Today's article titled Welcome Mat was written by Elisa Morgan. Browsing through the doormats displayed in a local shop, I noted the messages stamped on their surfaces. Hello, home, with a heart for the O. And the more customary one I chose, welcome. Putting it in place at home, I checked my heart. Was my home really welcoming the way God desires it to be? To a child selling chocolate for a school project? A neighbour in need? family member from out of town who called on the spur of the moment? In Mark chapter 9, Jesus moves from the Mount of Transfiguration, where Peter, James and John stood in awe of his holy presence, to healing a possessed boy with a father who'd lost hope. Jesus then offered private lessons to the disciples concerning his upcoming death. They missed his point badly. In response, Jesus took a child atop his lap, saying, Whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me does not welcome me but the one who sent me. The word welcome here means to receive and accept as a guest. Jesus wants his disciples to welcome all, even the undervalued and the inconvenient, as if we were welcoming him. I thought of my welcome mat and wondered how I extended his love to others. It starts by realising we are each welcomed by Jesus as a treasured child. Will I permit him to then lead me to others and welcome them in the way he desires? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, Please make your home in me as I make mine in you. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Lorraine and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.